as part of Walter Ireland support on rebooting international B2B business, this video gives practical advice on reshaping your international B2B experience post COVID-19. Before watching this video, we recommend that you download the PowerPoint presentation that accompanies it. The format for this video will follow the key topics outlined here. Let's begin by defining what a saleable experience is. Firstly, it is important to acknowledge that for some businesses, the process of creating the saleable experience for international markets is entirely new. For businesses that have already completed saleable experience training, this is an opportunity to revisit your existing saleable experience to ensure that it is in order to maximize the all important conversion opportunities in light of COVID-19. A saleable experience defines experiences and services that are fully priced with clear inclusions that are ready and available to bring to market for sale to customers by a tourism business. In the tourism industry, there are multiple kinds of saleable experiences, including self-guided and guided tours, cookery workshops and demonstrations, adventure activities like walking or surfing, dining activities like an afternoon tea or a farm picnic, and overnight stays in, for example, a B&B, a glamping resort, or a five-star hotel. Across the island of Ireland, diverse saleable experiences provide customers with a menu of options that can match individual interests, needs, and budgets. Before thinking about how to create a saleable experience, tourism businesses can learn a lot from how this is done in the retail industry. Think about any grocery or clothes store that works hard to capture their customer's interest. Think about how clear and tidy their displays are, how each product offering is clearly labeled. Think about the clear rapport between each product and its associated price, and how products are positioned around stores to draw the eye to well-priced products versus more high-end expensive products in order to appeal to diverse customer needs and types. Achieving this level of clarity is also important to effectively sell tourism experiences. And the purpose of the saleable experience is exactly that, to create clarity for both the business and the customer. Here you can see an example of a completed saleable experience for an activity provider called the Irish Experience. Note how the document works like a fact sheet, giving clear insights through words and images into the business offering, the experiences that are for sale, and key information like contact details. Here, you see an example of a completed saleable experience for an accommodation provider called the Connemara Sands Hotel and Spa. You will notice that while the first page of this saleable experience follows the same layout as the example shown for the Irish experience, the balance of the document is different. In the case of the accommodation provider, the saleable experience should note the room types and room inclusions. For the accommodation provider, the saleable experience should also include sections on referring things to do and see in the destination, and also the special reasons why the accommodation provider loves their particular area or destination. If each accommodation provider follows this model, it causes a rising tide for referrals and recommendations of things to do and see that raises the profile of individual destinations and regions for customers. So now, let's consider why a saleable experience needs to be created specifically for the international market. The purpose of the saleable experience is to achieve confirmed bookings from the international market. The saleable experience document plays an important role in putting your destination on the radar of international customers, 
and putting your tourism business on the radar of international customers. The information in the saleable experience works like a fact sheet, and this distilled format of presentation really helps your business stand out in the marketplace by providing absolute clarity on what is for sale and highlighting the value for money that is offered within each experience. The documents are also carefully written as a targeted communication piece that specifically addresses the needs of international customers who may have a low understanding, for example, of certain words and customs that are unique to Ireland. The saleable experience examples that I've just shown you for the Connemara Sands Hotel and the Irish Experience Activity Provider act as excellent referral tools. So for example, a visitor attraction, an activity provider, or an accommodation provider could pass their completed saleable experience document to a local partner, such as a tourist office, or to an international travel buyer who could in turn use the document to sell and refer on behalf of these tourism businesses. It is important to note that B2B sales channels like travel buyers really like to receive the saleable experience in this format as it clarifies the key information they need to promote your business to their customers and to their markets. A key function of the saleable experience is that it clarifies the business offering and the experiences or services that are available for sale. Once completed in this format, I will show you later how the language within this saleable experience document can be turned so that the content can be applied in other ways. For example, via B2C sales channels, such as a tourism business website. International customers are intrigued by Ireland's story as a fascinating island with people living their daily lives in coastal, rural and urban locations across diverse villages, towns, cities, counties and regions. Each one with its own unique colour, character and individual story. The job of the saleable experience is to communicate this for your tourism business. Here, we see an example of a saleable experience by Glenstall Farm. Please take the time to read this example, as you will see how the experience is perfectly placed within the context of its destination of the Golden Vale in County Limerick, gateway to the Wild Atlantic Way. Note how the wording is carefully chosen to draw the international visitor into the business farming story with references to an Irish welcome, traditional Irish food and how the provenance of Golden Vale land specifically impacts the quality of milk and food produced in this area of Ireland. A whole suite of experiences are offered so that the international visitor can become part of something that is unique and unusual to them. These experiences even include the opportunity to engage in early sunrise milking in the Golden Vale. Take time to read this description and see how compelling this experience is, particularly from the perspective of an international visitor many of whom come from countries where you are unlikely to find grass-fed animals as we have here in Ireland. So why is a saleable experience all the more important during the COVID-19 period? While it is true that international travel is currently curtailed due to COVID-19, the saleable experience is even more crucial at this time. Firstly, because Destination Ireland must continue to remain within the consciousness of international B2C and B2B customers so that Ireland is top of their destination choice list at the point of recovery. Many direct customers are thinking about future travel plans and travel buyers are contracting for 2021 and beyond. So as a destination, Ireland wants to achieve conversions via these opportunities. 
the international markets play a crucial role in stable revenue generation for Ireland tourism businesses. And even in light of COVID-19, we must not lose sight of the fact that integrating revenue from diverse markets, including domestic and diverse global markets, has always been important and will continue to be important for the future of Ireland's tourism industry. In light of COVID-19, the saleable experience can be used to reassure international customers that Irish tourism businesses know how to look after their well-being. Finally, a number of Ireland tourism businesses have begun to create virtual experiences that can be sold via B2C and B2B sales channels. Ideas for these include delivering Irish bread making or fun Irish language learning workshops, virtual Irish dancing classes or personalised virtual tours about Irish history. If this applies to your business, these kind of experiences can be added to the saleable experience document and brought for sale to international markets. However, please note that even for virtual experiences, the same rules apply. A saleable experience must always be fully crystallized with clear pricing and price inclusions. A customer should be able to visualize the experience as clearly as they can see a product on a retail shelf. In light of COVID-19, communications that specifically relate to the care of your customers during this time should appear on the saleable experience document and throughout all offline and online platforms. Many tourism businesses include their COVID-19 communications on a general information page at the back of their saleable experience document. Here, you can see an example of a COVID-19 communication that might apply to a visitor attraction. And here, you can see a COVID-19 communication that might apply for a fictional Galway-based accommodation provider regarding check-in and check-out for individuals. I will leave it with you to read this example. Here, we see the COVID-19 check-in and check-out procedures for groups, which would also be important for travel buyers. As accommodation providers tend to have multiple services, including guest rooms, food and beverage outlets, the tourism business may wish to communicate the policy relating to each key area. For example, here, the business shares insights into the management of guest rooms. Now we see the policy for management of restaurants and bars. Finally, we see how this business intends to manage their renowned Irish welcome in an innovative yet thoughtful format that they refer to as the Clada welcome, which is in keeping with their destination. Now let's look in more detail at how to build the saleable experience document for attractions, activity providers and accommodation providers. As clarified from the outset through the Irish Experience and Connemara Sands Hotel examples, the format for creating saleable experiences differs for visitor attraction and activity providers by comparison with accommodation providers. Here we can see the diverse steps outlined for each business type, and I will take you through these now. As you can see, accommodation providers do not always complete the steps four and five as noted for visitor attraction and activity providers. However, some accommodation providers that offer in-house experiences choose to apply these steps for their saleable experience document. I will leave it with you to decide if this is relevant for your accommodation provider business or not. All saleable experiences for all tours and businesses must include the correct destination experience brand of either Wild Atlantic Way, Dublin Surprising by Nature, Ireland's Ancient East or Ireland's Hidden Heartlands. Similarly, all saleable experiences must include contact details. 
these are placed in the footer of the saleable experience document. And bearing in mind that the target audience is the international market, please ensure that all telephone numbers cited include the international dial code prefix for Ireland. Let's look now at steps one and two that apply to all tourism businesses, including visitor attractions, activity and accommodation providers. The first step is to ensure your business brand is clear and placed on the first page of the saleable experience. You must also choose a strong main or header image that is compelling and that reflects the business offering. The next step is to define your business USP in one clear sentence and well-chosen keywords. Here you can see how two green shoots in Glengarriff West Cork and also how the Slane Food Circle in the Boyne Valley in County Meath have done this. Here we see further examples for Cavan Adventure Centre and Dublin's National Gallery of Ireland. Here we see how two accommodation providers have followed the same method. Note how all of these businesses in all of these examples have included their correct destination experience brands. The next step is to clearly define the business offering and to place it within the context of its destination. To make this easy to read, the tourism business should create one short paragraph and define any highlights that clarify the business offering in a bullet point format. Before I show you how to do this, let's think back to what we said earlier about how the saleable experience document needs to be a targeted communication piece for international customers. This is where you need to view your business offering and experiences from the perspective of the international customer. Think about it. If you create content that includes words, customs, ingredients, or even measurements from an Irish perspective that the international customer cannot have the capacity to understand because they are not part of daily life in Ireland, you will immediately confuse that international customer. And when we confuse customers, we are likely to lose valuable opportunities for conversions. Remember the golden rule for revenue generation is that clarity equals conversion. Here you can see how Causey Farm has been mindful of this by carefully writing their business offering paragraph to include an explanation of words that an international customer or travel buyer will not automatically know. In this way, they are bridging the gap in understanding between the Irish tourism business and the international customer. Here, we see how the visitor attraction, 14 Henrietta Street in Dublin, has done something similar by spelling out the context of what the custom of putting the kettle on means in Ireland for this experience called private tour with tea and chats. Again here, we see how Cook's Academy has created clarity for the international customer or travel buyer by explaining the meaning and context of Irish foods such as the blah and boxty. Please do keep this kind of perspective in mind when creating your saleable experience for the international market. Let's take a look now at a business offering paragraph with highlights that has been created for a visitor attraction business and an accommodation provider. Here we see an example for the Kinsale Mead Company. Note how the context for mead within Ireland's ancient culture is clearly explained as an important part of Destination Ireland's story. Note also how tricky Irish words like back, breha, the B judgments are explained to facilitate an international customer who is unlikely to have any knowledge of these laws. You can also see how the experience is cleverly positioned within the context of its destination in Kinsale and within the touching story of a family committed to crafting a high quality artisan drink. In the example of the Connemara Sands Hotel, you can see similar touchstones. Again, 
This accommodation provider is placed within the context of its destination and its story as a family operated business that prides itself on a genuine Connemara kind hearted welcome. Next, to create a strong saleable experience, the tourism business must catalogue the experiences available for sale. As explained earlier, this step applies to all visitor attractions and activity providers. It is an optional step for accommodation providers and is generally only used by accommodation providers that provide their own on-site experiences for visitors. For this step, the tourism business needs to create a grid with clearly defined parameters. Here you see how the Kinsale Mead company has clarified its saleable experiences via this simple grid format. As a customer, I am clear on the offering through the experience title and short description. I am also clear on the noted duration for each experience. While the retail or public price is blanked out here, in your saleable experience, this needs to be visible to the customer. Note also how the price inclusions, including tasting measurements, are itemized so that the full value within the price point is crystal clear. For more information on pricing your experiences, I would advise that you take a look at the suite of supports on break-even and pricing for B2C and B2B. This is available under Rebooting International B2B Business. From the minimum and maximum column that you see here, the customer is given clear instruction about how many people can do this experience. Defining the minimum number of people is really important. Let's say that a tourism business charges 50 euro per person for an experience and that this experience is subject to minimum five people. This means that the minimum charge per experience is 250 euro. So even if two people do the experience, this minimum charge must be paid so that business costs are covered. And this is what we mean by clarity. It is the job of the business selling the tourism experience to give clear direction on the offering, pricing, minimum charges and inclusions. Here we see that wild sub tours have multiple experiences which they have categorized into general and premium experiences. Premium experiences tend to appeal to customers with a higher budget or to customers that have a particular interest or skill set relating to the experience offering. For your business, consider if it would be relevant and worthwhile to group experiences in this way so that diverse customers can quickly determine the experience that is a match for their needs. If your business also offers virtual experiences, you can simply create an extra category to define these. For each experience noted on the grid, the tourism business must create a 75 to 85 word description this is a crucial step for visitor attractions and activity providers, as these descriptions are used in multiple ways, including in international travel buyer guides. So please do take the time to create excellent and compelling descriptions that reflect the full value of the offering. Here you see an example of short descriptions that have been created by the Kinsale Mead Company for two of their experiences. Note how the language used is third party rather than first person. This is because the purpose of this saleable experience document is to enable a partner like a local tourist office or an international travel buyer to refer and sell on behalf of the tourism business. In this context, first person language such as I, we and ours simply does not fit. Here we see another example of a general and premium experience catalogue created by Mount Congreve in Waterford and some of the descriptions that apply to these experiences. We are now at the final step for visitor attractions and activity providers. 
This step involves creating a general information page. This is an optional step for accommodation providers. Here you can see how two different businesses use the general information page to clarify information relating to their businesses. As we explained earlier, many tourism businesses are now inserting their COVID-19 policies here. It is important for accommodation providers to understand the work that is being done by visitor attractions and activity providers in your area so that you too are in a position to refer these businesses to customers who stay with you. Many accommodation providers request copies of completed saleable experiences for local visitor attractions and activity providers so that they can copy these to interested customers in advance during the reservations process or during the customer's day. So now, let's give our sole focus to accommodation providers and remind ourselves of the outstanding steps that apply for these businesses. As highlighted earlier, the format for the first page of the saleable experience document is the same for visitor attractions, activity providers, and accommodation providers. Now, we will take a look at steps relating to room types and highlighting the destination offering that are specific to accommodation providers. Here you can see an example of how the Connemara Sands Hotel and Spa has itemized its room types with clear room inclusions. This is exactly the kind of information a travel buyer is looking for to explain the full value in the room price offered by the tourism business and to identify the accommodation that best matches the needs of their customers and markets. Ultimately, this saves the travel buyer having to ask multiple questions. It thereby saves time and work for both the tourism business and the travel buyer. It is important to note that this kind of clarity is much appreciated on B2C sales channels, such as the hotel's own brand website too. Note also how the Connemara Sands Hotel has been mindful to indicate room measurements in square feet and meters to meet the needs of diverse measurement formats in diverse international markets. In this way, the accommodation provider shows due care for the perspective of diverse international customers. Here, we see two really important components of an accommodation provider's saleable experience. In the first instance, the Connemara Sands Hotel chooses and refers seven things to do within their destination. These referrals include kayaking on Manon Bay with a real adventure company and cycling with the Clifton Bike Shop. Note how the Connemara Sands Hotel tells the customer how to book these activities directly with these businesses. When building awareness around destinations, it is important to see this model replicated online and offline. Imagine if all accommodation provider businesses choose and refer five or 10 things to do in their area, this has the effect of creating a rising tide so that customers become aware of the full offering within the destination and the multiple reasons to visit the destination over and again. Under things to do, you will notice that the hotel has also itemized compelling experiences that they offer themselves, including seaweed baths, and the really intriguing Connemara Bee Safari, whereby visitors get to visit the on-site beehives. As explained earlier, the Connemara Sands Hotel could potentially expand on this offering by creating a grid for these experiences, as we saw for the visitor attractions and activity providers. Here, you also see that the Connemara Sands Hotel has added a nice personal touch by including six key destination highlights. Take the opportunity to read those and to see how the six points draw the customer into this beautiful destination through the eyes of the Connemara Sands Hotel. 
Note also how the image of the young girl on the rock is really compelling and reinforces this offering. Now we have covered the key steps for creating saleable experiences. On a final note, let's take a look at how a tourism business can repurpose the content used on the saleable experience document for other sales channels, including B2C sales channels, such as the business own brand website. As we have stressed, the saleable experience document clarifies the tourism business offering and the experiences or services that are available for sale. The document is an excellent referral tool that enables a partner business such as a travel buyer to sell and refer on behalf of the business. For this reason, many tourism businesses use this document to provide a succinct follow-up for partners, including travel buyers. Like we said earlier, the kind of clarity that we saw in the layout of room types for the Connemara Sands Hotel saleable experience should be replicated online. This is an example of how to repurpose the clarity of content in the offline saleable experience document to an online sales channel. It is important to note that when we repurpose content used in the saleable experience document for other sales channels, including online sales channels, that we need to verify and amend the language so that it fits the unique needs of each sales channel. For example, here, we see some experiences that have been created by the Irish Experience Adventure Company. A tourism business should ensure that all of its saleable experiences are visible and available for sale on both offline and online platforms. Let's hone in now on the Sunset Kayaking experience. In this description, you will note how first-person language is avoided and instead indirect third-party language is used that enables this tourism business to pitch to an end customer via another partner. Now, let's look at how we might address the presentation of this saleable experience via an online website platform. Here you can see how the language for the sunset kayaking experience might be adapted for a website. Note that is in this case, the business is engaging directly with the customer, friendly first person language that draws the customer in is used. Through this language, it is as though this business is having a direct conversation with the customer. While the saleable experience offering and parameters are still clear, the language has been adjusted and adapted to suit the needs of a direct sales channel. The saleable experience template guidance note to support this video, alongside some good practice saleable experiences, are located here on the Falta Ireland website. Please find the full suite of supports that relate to this video under rebooting international B2B business. Thank you for watching and I wish you every success in creating and selling experiences for the international market.